So on March 15th at AFC 15 in Calgary, you fought Owen Carr and lost by unanimous decision. At what point did you feel the rules were broken and the result was unfair? Uh, at really, at no given point did I think that right off the get-go. I was so in shock about how many things he got away with. The first thing that happened was, like, uh, after I push-kicked him the second time in the first round and then went in a little too early, he kneed me in the nuts. Uh, I kind of just brushed it off as, hey, accidents happen. So I didn't really feel he intentionally kneed me there. And then it was the follow-up knee that hurt me, and that one put me down. So then I was kind of like, okay, hold on and try to stall out until you can recover. And then it was at that point where I realized he was putting his hand on my mouth, so I thought he was trying to smother me, so then I brushed his hand off. Well, then it got to a point where... He, his fingers were in my mouth, and I'm like, he's f***ing fish-hooking me. I was like, son of a gun. So then I look up, and I see the ref standing right there, and I'm like, why is he not telling him to get his hand out of my mouth? <laughs> and the ref did nothing. So it was probably that point where I was like, there's something drastically wrong here. And so I tried to shrimp out or tried to go a different direction, and every time I did, my lip would get pulled more, and it actually got cut. Like, if you can talk to Jesse about it, I had it cut right down the line of my lip, so didn't put that there myself and uh so long story after that point nothing really happened in the first round after that then he spit on me and I looked up and I was like that seriously just happened did he really just spit on me so then I got up I, I screamed at the ref I'm like did you not do anything when he was fish hooking me and now you're gonna let him spit on me and uh then he wiped blood on my back while I was yelling at the ref <laughs> and then uh so I went back to my corner and uh told Jesse what happened, and Jesse's like, holy shit. And then uh, we went back out there and fought again the second round. Really nothing of the ordinary happened there. And then it was the third round when he uh, up-kicked me twice. Like, he, he gave me a first up-kick, and I was like, oh, frick. And then I looked at the ref, he didn't do anything, and then he hooked me again. Like, there was my stupidity for turning to the ref after he kicked me up, kicked me the first time, but then when he kicked me the second time, I felt stupid. <laughs> and then... uh Ref stood us up. I'm thinking, okay, he's going to give Owen a warning, and then I'll get back in dominant position. Because really, at that point, if you don't take into account the other things that were going on, you know, that was my Hail Mary attempt. So he took that away from me when he was like, can you start? I'm like, I don't get back on top. You know, you're, you're taking away my position that I had to work for. And, uh, yeah, then the fight ended like that. You know, like there was, you know, Jess even pointed out uh, – that he was punching me in the back of the head in the second round. And then another person at Keats, I had pointed out to me that he headbutted me, which I, I brushed the headbutt off in the first round as an accident. Like maybe, cause I know he was grinding his head into my head. So I just thought maybe whatever, but at the end of the day, yeah, you can't lift your head up and then crash it down into my face. So that counts as a headbutt, but I was just so upset that the ref really wasn't doing anything. And uh, I don't know if you're allowed to look into what I wrote to the commission because I actually don't even have a copy of the email I sent them. But my email sent to the commission, it was pretty much more or less complaining about the referee. I said, can anything be done about the refing in this? Yeah, well, my main, like everyone says, I, I complained and demanded them to overturn the decision. My complaint was that uh, that I felt the ref needed to be disciplined. I said, if you would have, if you would have been there, and did his job with the fish hook, or even if he didn't believe, like, you can't put your hand in the guy's mouth, even if you think it's accidental. I feel like the ref, if he didn't see that, he just wasn't paying attention. So my complaint was that the ref, ref needed to not be refing any more of my fights, which I don't ever want that happening again, so I said he made me feel like I was in a more dangerous of a fight than I should be in. I did interview Owen um, about a week ago, and he said that he grabbed your chin and his fingers were never were never in your mouth and on the video it's not really clear so there was um was it a clear fish hook like his fingers were in your mouth he had a finger or thumb or whatever it was in my mouth 100 percent. and it was he was using it as a way to hold me in place kind of deal because like he wasn't like i don't believe he was malicious enough to be trying to rip my lip open but he was holding it in a place that every time i tried to turn into him to try to move to get out of there he pull down on the lip, and then I'd have to turn my head back. And if you can't turn your head to where you want to go, you're not going to go where you want to go. So I feel he was using it as a as a sneaky, dirty way of controlling me on the ground. And and it was 17 days after the fight that the Calgary Commission changed officially changed the ruling to a no contest. Did you file the complaint right away? Yeah, me and Jesse. Uh, Jesse complained uh, to I'm trying to remember her name. <laughs> 
Well, anyway, it's one of the commission persons and was mentioning all the fouls he saw, and then they said you have to file a complaint about it. And then uh, that day, the second day, actually, it was uh, Sunday, we wrote it up and sent it in that these are all the complaints we had with the refing, and then Jesse wanted me to put in all the stuff that he saw, and we did. And then they told, then they got back to me, I think it was the Monday, so this would have been like two days after the fight. And they said that these things take a long time, don't expect anything to happen in the next, you know, week even. They said they go through a long review process and they do their due diligence. And that was it. And then I just specified again, you know, I just don't ever want uh, Tavisto to, to rest me again. I said, that's what I want primarily out of this. And then, uh, you know, I feel like, yeah. And you, if you if it was refed properly, do you think that you have a chance at beating Owen? Yeah, I'll never know because really, like, he definitely looked like he was a better fighter. He fought harder than I did. But the way I look at it, too, is I spent too much of my time being pissed off at the ref and wondering why the ref wasn't doing his job. It's hard when you're trying to, when you're not really focusing on the fight, you're focusing on the other guy, like the guy who's not even fighting you. So I'll never know 100%. Would you take a rematch against Owen? Yeah, I already asked. When Owen. Yeah, when Owen texted me the next day, or after they made the decision, he definitely gave me more than enough motivation to, to not give a shit about what the ref does this time, because if we ever fight again, <laughs> it's going to be a whitewash of what happened last time. I, I went in that fight liking Owen. He was really respectful at the way in. He was a nice guy when I saw him in the elevator. He seemed like a, a pretty good guy, and everyone's telling me that, no, he's a dirty fighter. you got to watch out for him, and blah, blah, blah. And uh, I found out the hard way that everyone else was right, and I was wrong. So this time, like, I know the announcers were saying there was a lot of bad, bad blood going into the fight, but I didn't think there was any bad blood going into the fight. I thought we had, I thought we were going to be going there as two respectful fighters, and then uh, Owen's conduct to- uh, totally turned my uh, opinion about that around on him. But if we were fought again, he wouldn't be fighting a happy-go-lucky me. Like, in my history, every time I've been happy going into a fight, it didn't work out good for me. <laughs> I have to be either mad or, like, kind of in the dumps to put on a good fight. So has this fight kind of changed your strategy going into fights that are coming up for you? Probably not because I'm fighting someone else now and uh, I don't have any bad blood towards my upcoming opponent. My upcoming opponent didn't spit on me or, or talk shit about me. What is your next match? Who's next? I'll be fighting, I'm fighting Noah Ali at uh, AFC 12, uh, July 12th. At AFC Stampede, cool. In Calgary? Yep. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Um, okay, well, thanks for your time. Do you have any sponsors or coaches that you want to thank? Uh, I can thank my sponsor, my uh, CrossFit 807 sponsor, and then my training partners, and Jesse Bosco. Thanks again for speaking with us. This is MMA News Canada. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel at youtube.com forward slash MMA News Canada.